Dambadatika Jora Kadaka Wotu Sahaza Mabi Jewa Ja Nada Bada Sahida Egan Adabadan Seyo Yan So Dwa Uba Samadi Dopwe Dongwe Jume Pongnenda Saindo Sagadi Akon Tatang Shizika Mumamia Chana yada pin ragasa di nyi e jang pi yue. A joshi do pota bo di da bolo yue mia e. Beda den a thousand useless words is one useful word. Hearing which one attains peace. This Tamadisna was given by the Buddha when he was dwelling at Vilvana Monastery in Rajagaha city. With the reference to Tambata Dika, the executioner, executioner, they meet the killer of the thieves. There are 499 thieves around the Rajagaha. City, you know, 500, uh, 500 thieves, less or one. Then they also, they are the thief group or robber group in the forest. Then they also took others' property from the villages by showing the war banks. Is it? Oh. This is their business, their job. Then one day, one starting one person came to their group. His name is Tamba Datika. Why he is called Tamba Datika? Tamba Datika is his eyes are transparent. Is it? Then he has, according to the translation, copper colored teeth, copper colored teeth, red, uh, orange, uh, orange, red color teeth, or maybe senses here, uh, m- m- mustache, is it here here? Sanse Dhatika is a teeth. Sanse mustache. Oh, he had this one. Then me, his appearance is a very fearful appearance with the very transparent and bright eyes. Is it? Then he came to, uh, he approached the leader of the thieves in this group. Then he says, Oh, Master. I also want to live together with you. I wish to be one of your disciples. He also want to stay others' properties together with them. Then at that time, the leader or the thief consider why as soon as he saw his appearance, even he was afraid of him. Is it? Damba Dhatika. <laughs> then by seeing this, what he says, he thought to himself, this person, even he will bite his mother's breast, then after that he will eat. Even he will cut his father's throat with a knife, then he will take, he will take out the blood from his father's throat and he will drink it. Oh, he is such kind of very 
cruel and violent Basians. Because of this reason, then he refused his request. No, 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 we have enough Basians, enough people here in our group. Please go away. He didn't answer. But he don't stop, okay? Then next time, okay, he approached one of the, uh, you know, the one, one of, one of the one thief from this group who is familiar with the leader, like the secretary of the group. Is it? Then he approached and, and he do service and he show his good manner in front of this person. Then at that time, then this person brought the Tambatati guards to the, the chief of the thief. The master the police is happening, he is a good person. Oh. Because of the thief's recommendation, then the leader also cannot reject his request. Okay, if you agree, okay, then he, he can join in our group. Then he also allowed. Then he became one of the 500 thieves in this group. Then they steal others' properties together. I mean, they are robber. That is why they, they take others' property by showing the gun, weapons, etc. You know, nowadays in Myanmar also like this. If there are the gold, gold shop or many shops, something like this, they show the gun and get me. Then they take the property and money from the shop houses, etc. Uh, they are their business, their job. Then they are doing in this way from village to village in the whole country. Then one day, you know, many people from the cities and also the village from Raya Palace, against people together uh, catch them. Then, they in the court, the, the judge, you know, they, they make the decision, the judgment, they make the decision. They, all 500 thieves should be killed because of their crime, their criminal cases. Is it? Not only one time, many times. They also kill many people and take others' property, something like this, many times. That is why. They make serious criminal cases. Uh, they should be killed. Then 500 thieves. Then they find the people has to kill them. Then nobody want to kill. Is it? Okay, ask, can you kill them? No. Then we will give, we will give the money. Something like that. Nobody want to kill. Why? Many thieves. Then finally, when they cannot find any persons of the killer or the thieves, then they ask the leader of the thieves. Okay. If you keep the thief in your group, then you will give your life. You will get your life. You will be your your life will be free from the death. Then we were give the free dance for you. Then we also give a lot of things, monies to you. Then the leader of the thieves, all are his disciples. That is why he also dare not to kill. He doesn't want to kill them. That is why he refused. No, I don't want to kill. They are my disciples. Then in this way, okay, the minister group asked another person, they also refuse another person, another person. In this way, up to 499 persons. Nobody want to kill them. They refused. The last person is a newcomer, Dambadatika. <laughs> is it? Then they asked the minister, asked the Dambadatika, can you keep them? If you keep them, then we will not keep you. You will give your life. Then we also give a lot of things and monies to you. Then he accepted their invitation. Okay, I will keep it. 
Then, you know, then they keep beginning from the leader or the thief. One by one, all together, 499 thieves in this group, all killed by the Dambadadika. Then he key within one time, cut their hut within one time, then in this way, all finished. Dambadadika is such kinds of cruel persons, very harsh persons, is it? Okay. Then he gave his life free. Then, although the other 499 thieves died, but okay, he is still alive here. The next time, you know, the people and the police also caught 500 thieves from another direction. At that time, they also find who will keep them. Then nobody want to kill. At that time, or oh, oh, recently, one person killed many thieves in one group. He is still there. Then okay. Then he asked. They asked and Damba Darika to keep them. Then he also said, "Okay, I will keep." It. Then he killed those five hundred thieves from another direction. Then because of this reason, okay, we will appoint him as the kill up of the thieves in our royal palace. Then he became a killer, executioner in this royal palace. Then. Is it? Then this is his job. Official killer of the thieves in Raya Palace. Then next time the ministers and police caught many thieves from another direction, 500 thieves, also he killed them. Then from another direction, next time, then he killed all audience, 500. 500 for four directions altogether, 2,000 thieves killed by Dambadadika. Then, after appointment eh, is the official killer of the thieves, then what will happen? Then, next time, when they, keep, uh, when they have a person who, uh, cr- who have done the crimes, then Damba Darika killed them. Every day, sometimes one person, sometimes two or three persons like this. He killed for many thieves. He killed many thieves for 55 years. And he became old. Is it? When he became old, you know, although he killed the thief, but not like young times. When he was young, he can kill every person with one time, then all die. But when he became old, he became weak. Then he have not enough energies. When he kill one person, he, he beat with the weapon, but the person didn't die with one time, maybe two times or three times, because of he has not enough energy. At that time, you know, the thief, uh, who should be killed become very tired and very they are they feel very suffering. At that time, many people discuss. Now he have not enough energy to kill the thief. Then we should reject. We should ask him to retire from his job. We will find another person uh, uh, to kill the thieves. Then he was re- uh, then he retired. He was resigned by the many people in the camp. Then when he retired from his job, what happened? Five hundred uh, sorry, fifty five years. He just killed many people every day. That is why, you know, he is very fearful person, very balanced person. That is why sometimes, okay, he, he need to keep, but he never, he, his hand and maybe many clothes will be bloody, a lot of blood in his body. That is why, okay, sometimes he will eat something. He don't prepare special food, something like this. He don't wear these new drip in his body also. 
Then when he retired from his job, then he wish. What? I had a son that gave new seat on. He wish to wear new dress, new clothes in his body. Is it? Another one said, Nawasapina sen katan kiraya gong piwito. Then he also wished to drink sweet milk yagu porridge. Then yagu, one with the milk and sweet. Sumana Bhopa ni pilanito, he also wished to uh, put the jasmine flower on his head. Is it? Kande willing pito, he also wished to apply, wished to smear the fragrance on his body, or like women. Is it? Oh, he wants to do this. That is why, okay, he asked his family to prepare the sweet milk yagus in his house. Then bring him, you know, new dress, new clothes, jasmine flower and the fragrance. He went to the rivers to take shower. After taking shower, then he wear new dress. Then he also put the jasmine flower on his head or maybe his neck. And also he applied uh, he smeared the fragrance on his body. After that, he returned to his house. Then they also prepared the sweet mixed yagus in his house for Damba Dhatika. Then he sat down and prepares to drink the sweet milk yagu. At that time, Venerable Saripota just come out from Samabhati. This Samabhati may be Phala Samabhati or Niroda Samabhati. Is it? Then he also reflect who is suitable to support, who will be, uh, who will be which person will be uh, the, uh, the one who is worthy to be supported, to be praised. Is it? Why? He just come out from Samapati if he receive sentence from this person, he will obtain a lot of wealth and a lot of benefits. Because of this reason, he also reflect who should be supported. Eh? Then he saw Damba Dhatika. Oh, if I go to Damba Dhatika, then he can offer as food or not. Then when he replied, oh, okay, he has sada, he can offer. Then Venerable Sariputta went to Tamba Tadika's house and Venerable uh, Sariputta stood in, in front of his house door, uh, near the door of his house. At that time, Tamba Tadika is preparing to drink sweet milk porridge. Then he saw Venerable Sariputta. Then he revealed Venerable Sariputta and he respected Venerable Sariputta in his mind. Yeah? At that time, he thought to himself, as soon as he, see, he saw Venerable Sariputta, Maya I have done the executioner, you know, a killer for the thief for a long time. I have killed many people. I have prepared the sweet milk yagut in my house now. Is it? Tiro Agandra Mama Gayadari Tito Venerable Sri Buddha is also standing in front of my house. Then I should offer this sweet milk yagut to Venerable Sri Buddha. Then he can decide immediately to offer this Yagus to Venerable Sri Buddha. Then he invited Venerable Sri Buddha to enter into his house. Then Venerable Sri Buddha also sat down in, uh, on the seat. Then he offered the sweet, uh, sweet milk Yagus to Venerable Sri Buddha. He 
poor, the first to penetrate the report. And then, immediately, oh, maybe this is the first offering, first to penetrate the report in his whole life. Is it? Then, Bhanarva, at that time, when Bhanarva Sriputta was uh, taking the Yagu, then he was uh, finding Bhanarva Sriputta by standing nearby. Then, at that time, he also wanted to drink the sweet milk Yagu too much. He had been there. Then, he had extra Yagu for him. That is why the Bhanarva Sriputta also knows this condition and uh, Dadika. Then you go and drink your, your yagu. Then, okay, he also listen because he wished to drink the sweet milk yagu too much. That is why, okay, he gave one that the fun, funds to the another person. Then he go and drink the sweet milk yagu. Then this person is also funding the Venerable Sariputta. Then Venerable Sariputta asks, Okay, no problem, you go, you go, don't, don't fence me. Oh. Then Dhamma Dadika drank the Yagu. After that, then he came back to Venera Sariputta and again he took the fan and he fan, he was finding Venera Sariputta near a pine settings, Venera Sariputta. Then Venera Sariputta also finished his meal. Then after that, the Tamadadika took Bhanaravasari Bhutta's bow. Then Bhanaravasari Bhutta also gave Anumorana a talk to Tamadadika. Is it? Especially regarding meditation practice. At that time, Tamadadika couldn't listen to Bhanaravasari Bhutta concentratively, carefully. Why? Then he was wandering here and there. Then Venerable Sri Buddha also understood his condition. That is why Venerable Sri Buddha asked him, Upasaka kasma chaitan disna nu katan kato nasa koti. Upasaka, why cannot listen to the Dhamma carefully, concentratively? Then he answered, Pande, I killed many people, many thieves for a long time in my whole life. That is why I only just remember the Akusla that I have done before. That is why I cannot concentrate on the Dharma. Then, when Sariputta was also very clever, then I need to say sentence to him with indirect words. Oh. Then me when I when just when just I mean I will deceive him by saying and that I won't. Is it? Then he asked, Upasaka, you kill many people for a long time. You keep them according to your wishes or because of Kent order. Then he answered, Oh Bandi, no according to my wishes, I keep them because of Kent order. Then Venera Sariputta said, Then, you have accumulated Kusala or not? Then when Venera Sariputta said in this way, he thought, Oh, yes, I didn't do any Akusala. According to my intention, I keep them because of Ken's order. There is not my Akusala. Oh, he thought in this way. Is it? Because of Venera Sariputta's cleverness. Then, he was also stupid. <laughs> in, this, in this case, it is good when he is stupid. Otherwise, if he knows he had Agusala, why? He will regret. Then he cannot resist Panera's Ribota's Dhamma. Is it? Carefully. But he was stupid. His knowledge is not sharp. That is why when Panera's Ribota say this word with indirect way, then he thought, oh, I didn't do any Agusala. I keep them because of Ken's order. This is not my Akusala. He then in this way. At that time, then Venerable Sri Buddha also gave his Dhamma toss to him. At that time, he listens to the Dhamma concentratively and carefully. At that time, he can concentrate on the Dhamma. Is it? 
Uh, why? At the time, no more kokocha, no more regret in his mind. Eh? Then when he was listening to Venerable Sariputta's Dhamma talk, then he reached up to the highest level of Vipassana knowledge, Anuloma Jnana, nearly attained Sotapana. But because of his Akusala, his Akusala is very serious, that is why he got a, a day up to Sotapana stage, but up to the highest level of Vipassana knowledge. And then, then after giving the Dhamma talk to him, then Venerable Sariputta also went back to the monastery. Then, taking Venerable Sariputta's boat, then Tamba Dhadika also followed Venerable Sariputta for some time. After that, then uh, he gave the boat to Venerable Sariputta, then he returned to his house. Then at that time, on the way to his house, he was killed by Kao. Kao me Fime Yaka, Yakini, disguised as a cow. Then he, she attacked Tambadatika and then he, he died because of attack, uh, because of attack of the Fime Yaka. Why? You remember Soba Bodhi, Soba, Soba Bodha, the Lepa Soba Bodha. He was also given this yakini, female yaka, or grace. When this female yaka was a courtesan, prostitute before, then four person key and take her property. You remember? Then Tamba Dadika is one of these four men. So Babuda, the Lepa So Babuda, Tamba Dadika, next time was he. Bahia Daru Siriya and other Bogusati all together four persons killed these Khatizans in the past. She also make expressions, okay, wherever they are, then I wish to kill them after becoming aggressive, Yakini. Because of her wishes, now she is Yakini in this present life. Then she Disguise is gone. Then she uh, she attack and and then she, he dies. Is it? Then what will happen when he passed away? Then he be, he was reborn in Tusita Dewara as Dewa. Why he passed away with that? We pass not knowledge. We pass not knowledge. Then at that time, many people have conversation each other. Oh, Tamba Dhatika, he just retired from his job, you know, very harsh uh, job, the killing of the thieves. He just escaped from his violence job. Then today he also offered one mess to venerable Sariputta. Then he immediately passed away. Today, where was he reborn? Or oh, they are talking each other. At that time, the Buddha had their conversation. Then he was born in Tusita Dewara as Dewa. Then many people got confusion. Is it? Why? He killed many people for his whole life. Then he passed away today. Then he was born in Tusi Dadewara as Dewa. Why? Oh, why? Why? Is it? Is it? Then the Buddha says, Ama Bekwe Mahan Do Te Na Kalyana Medo Lador. Yes, he associated with the Kalyana Medo, good person, Penerva Sariputta. Then, after listening to Venerable Sariputta's Dhamma talk, he obtained up to the highest level of personal knowledge, Anu Loma Jnana. That is why when he passed away, then he was reborn in Dusi Dariwara as Dewa. The Buddha says to them by reciting one stanza. Is it? Why? Here in this case, 
Although he killed, okay, this one maybe the next time. Then at that time, many Begu Sangha also. Bande, Anu Morna Katanama Napalaware. Venerable Sri Buddha gave very sharp tomatoes to him, not so strong, very little. Then I got Agusla Kama Mahadana, he had done very serious Agusla in his whole life. It is very serious, very heavy. Why he attained such kinds of the highest level of attainment? Eh? Why he was reborn eh? to see that Devaran is Deva? Then at that time, the Buddha says, King Bekwe, Maya Desida Dhammasa Apanwa, Bohongwa, Mabamana Kanathare. Beku, I give the short tomato only just one word or many. You should not, you should not hold the limitation, limit of the dhamma. It is many or little, is it? Eka wajabi adhanisita seyawa. Then although the word, the word is only just one word, if it is useful or beneficial, this is a good, this is a good word, beneficial word. Oh, saying that the Buddha recite this stanza, you know, Sahasama bi jewaja anatha bada sanita ega anatha bada seyo yan sotwa upasamadi. Oh, this one is, you know, Sahasama bi jewaja anatha bada sanita. There are many thousands of words. But they are useless, not beneficial. They composed or they describe about the forest or mountain or city, women, etc. Although there are many what the whole book it is not so useful. Ekan Atta Bharansi or Yan Sotwa Upasamadid. But only one word regarding Dhamma like Kanda, Ayarana, Secha, Nibbana, etc. Then by listening to those useful words, they feel very peaceful in their mind. Even they can attain vipassana knowledge of jhana, megaphala, nipana. Oh, this word is useful, beneficial, or oh, although it is only one word or one sentence, one stanza. Is it? That is why then, you know, useful, one useful word is better than 1,000 useless words. Why? By hearing the useful, one useful word, they can attain, they can attain peace, or nibbana, or if they cannot attain nibbana, they can attain jhana vipassana, mega, uh, something like this, jhana vipassana. Because of this reason, it is useful, although it is only one word or one sentence. One stanza, or the Buddha says this stanza. At the end of the stanza, many become sotapanna, etc. Then in this case, you see, Tamba Dadika killed many people in his whole life, 55 years. You know, only just he escaped from his cruel job today. Then he also offered Sweet milk, ya goes to Venerable Sri Buddha only one time today. Then he also listens to Venerable Sri Buddha's Dhamma talk only one time. Is it? Why? Kalayana Mehta, Sapurisa Sanjeeva, he associated with Kupasin Venerable Sri Buddha. One condition. Then he also listened to the Venerable Sri Bhutta's Dhamma talk regarding the Four Noble Truths. Two conditions. Sapurisa Sansewa, Sadhamma Sawana. Okay? Then he also have Yoni Somana Sikara, wise attention or proper attention. That is why he received, he invited Venerable Sri Bhutta to his house. Then he offered the answer to Venerable Sri Bhutta respectfully. Is it? Then another condition is Dhamma Nu Dhamma Pati Pati. He, when he was listening to Venerable Sri Buddha's Dhamma talk, then he is also practicing meditation. 
practically according to Venerable Sri Bhutta's instruction. Then finally, he reached up to the highest level of vipassana knowledge, Anuloma Jnana. Is it? Anuloma Jnana, four conditions. You know, these four conditions lead to realization of Nibbana. If you want to attain Nibbana, if you wish to become Sotapana or higher Nubhya you should have these four conditions. Two are external conditions. Sapurisa Sansewa or Kalyana Meta associating with Gopasya. Is it? Then hearing the Dhamma talk, Sadhamma Sawana. Two conditions are external condition. Now you are having this condition. You are associating with Syaraji or the other meditation teacher, many good fellow months here. Then you are also listening to the Dhamma nearly every day. Two conditions are here. Then you have Yoni Somanasi Kara, proper attention, right attention, wise attention. Then you will practice meditation diligently, regularly, according to teacher's instruction. Two conditions are internal conditions, your conditions. Whether you have Yoni Somanasi Kara, proper attention or not, then you, whether you are practicing three trainings systematically, according to Buddha's instruction or not, these are your duty, not teacher's duty, not monastery's duty. You have two external conditions, sure here. You have two internal conditions or not. This is uh, to be fulfilled by yourself. Okay? These are, these two conditions are your condition, your duty to be fulfilled, not the other. Then if there are four conditions, then you can realize Nibbana, even in this present life. You know, Tamba Dhatika, according to his Agusala Kama, very serious Agusala Kama, then actually he should be reborn in hell. But now, because of these four conditions, now he was reborn in Tusita Dewara as Dewa. And then, although the text does not mention, he also attain up to the highest level of vipassana knowledge, then he became Dewa and Tusita Dewara. Probably he will continue to approach Venerable Sariputta or Buddha, then he will listen to the Dhamma, then even he may become Nova Dewa now, Ariya Dewa. But we don't see this test in text. Why? The possible. Is it? Okay. Then if you, if you had this four condition, like Dhamma Dhatika, Although you had done many Agusala in the past, you can become Sotapana or Nubhapasana, you can realize Nibbana. You can escape from those suffering. Then may be able to uh, fulfill this four condition, may be able to practice to attain Nibbana. Sa, sa, du, sa, du. Idame Pognya. Asawakaya. Vahan hodu idame bhonya neva nasa spechayo hodu mama bhonya bhaga sava sadhana bhajemi te sabi me sama bhonya bhaga labandu Sadu, sadu, sadu.